Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm gonna go to London for about a week. So I thought I'd do a video of what to pack uh, for traveling to Europe for a week and what luggage to bring, what you should pack, all that kind of stuff. So uh, first we'll start by what I'm gonna be wearing. Uh, this is pretty much it. I'm gonna uh, wear my button up shirt because I like bringing that for several reasons. One, uh, it looks a bit dressy, so if you want to go to a nice, uh, nicer restaurant, for example, it's nice to have a button-up. But I can also use this as layers. Uh, this is a linen one, so in the summertime it's also nice and cool. I can put the sleeves up or down. It has like the little flappy things to keep the sleeves up if I want to put them up. Um, it's a little dressy, but not overly dressy. Um, I actually have the same one also in uh, blue. So sometimes I do that. This time I'm just doing white just because of the, the color scheme I'm, uh, I'm wearing because uh, I don't want to bring too many shoes, too many uh, uh, pairs of pants and that kind of stuff to mix and match. I kind of want to have everything go with uh, everything. So I chose uh, white and burgundy for this trip and I'll show you why in a moment. So um, yeah, button up shirt. I can use this just like this. I can use it as an extra layer. Uh, all that kind of stuff. And then I'm wearing just some regular black pants. Um, it's currently the end of October, so it's cooler. So I would definitely pack pants anyway, but even if I go in the summer, I still uh, always wear a long pair of pants uh, when I'm traveling. Because you want to bring at least one pair, like I said, for if you want to go to a nicer restaurant, you have a nice pair. Or um, sometimes it just gets a little bit colder, so you always want to have at least one pair of pants, even if the rest of what you pack are shorts bring one pair of pants and that's the one you're wearing on your travel day. And I like these because these are uh, they don't really look like it, but these are actually cargo pants. Like I have my pockets on the side, so I have plenty of space for like my passport, uh, my wallet, and uh, if I put the remote down, uh, I have my phone and I have my wireless earbuds with me. So basically uh, anything I need during my flight, or in this case, I'm taking the train. I just have handy. The only thing I need to do is right before I go to security, I just need to dump my pockets into a, an easily accessible uh, pocket on my luggage because I can't have it in my pocket when I go through the scanner. But other than that, I have everything within easy reach. So everything I might need while I'm uh, on the train or plane. So uh, to pair that um, for when it's a little colder right here, so uh, that is just the basic, this is basically what I pack uh, summer, winter, whenever. So uh, now that it's fall or autumn, as they say in the UK, I'm bringing a jacket and I'm just bringing this denim jacket. And this should uh, be good uh, enough because uh, you don't want to bring like your very heavy coat because in Europe, you're going to be walking a lot. You're going to be warming up. So uh, you want layers, you don't want one big heavy coat because if you start sweating, you're gonna be miserable. So I have this, this should keep me warm enough for most of the time, remember, I'm going to a city. I'm not going to the Arctic tundra. So there's lots of buildings that will block the, most of the wind. Uh, I'll be go going in and out of buildings a lot to grab some dinner, to see some sights. So I don't want like really bulky clothes. But if this is a bit too cold, I am gonna bring uh, a hoodie and it's this one and I can just uh, use this as an extra layer. This can go underneath. So if I get really cold, I can just uh, put this on underneath my jacket, just like this. And that should definitely keep me warm. Now, uh, uh, this is good for all the temperatures, but if it's gonna rain, which is very likely uh, this time of year in Europe, like autumn, fall uh, is uh, quite rainy. So I also have my trusty raincoat. So I'm just gonna pack that. And uh, this will actually fit, excuse me if that was loud by the mic, but this will also fit uh, over my jacket and everything. So I can wear this just over a t-shirt if it's warm. I can uh, wear it over my hoodie if it's uh, like medium or over my jacket, over my jacket and my hoodie. So just layers, think in layers because yeah, you can always add a little layer extra if you're a little bit cold, but you can't take much away if you're wearing something too big. So let me quickly take this off. 
And like I said, I kind of want to go everything to go with everything. So the pair of shoes I'm bringing are just my burgundy uh, Converse. I always wear Converse. I have them in many different colors. And these just kind of match my hoodie. And because I decided to go with burgundy, uh, most of my, the shirts I'm bringing are either white or burgundy as well. So everything goes together. So kind of like a capsule wardrobe, they sometimes call it. So um, I'm only going for like a little under a week, like five or six days, I'm leaving early in the morning and I'm coming back late on in the day on the, the sixth day. So um, I only need one pair of shoes. If I was going for two weeks, I would probably bring two pairs of shoes and uh, I would probably bring like my, uh, my blue pair, for example. So I could, uh, I would also be packing a lot of blue uh, shirts to go with it. Maybe that button up to have a second button up option uh, or some other blue shirts kind of to go with everything and uh, Yeah, so for changing things up a bit. That was nice to have a second pair But also uh, if it's raining a lot you get your shoes wet. It's nice to have a dry dry pair. So one pair of shoes And uh, yeah, then t-shirts like I said, I'm going away for uh, five and a half days So I have five shirts and how you want to pack these is in a packing cube. Um, I like these. They don't really save that much space. They do a really bit, uh, a little bit, but mostly they just make things a lot more organized. Uh, like right now, I'm just packing for one week, so I don't have that many shirts. But if, for example, I'm uh, packing for two weeks, like I said, I'll bring a second uh, color and I can just coordinate that with each other. Um, you don't need to get compression cubes, you really don't. Uh, just any old packing cubes are fine because it's about how you pack it. Um, packing cubes actually don't really save space, the, the compression cubes. So, because what you want to do is take a shirt and you just roll it up nice and tight. And then you want to make sure that one of the short sides of your packing cube is closed and you just shove that in there and push it all the way to the end. Zip it up a bit more and you repeat that with your second shirt. Just roll that up nice and tight. And if you roll it up, then uh, you don't really get that many crinkles. And crinkles is also the reason why I'm wearing my button up shirt because if I'm wearing it, the least chance there are wrinkles so to keep it nice. So. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna keep rolling them. By the way, if you're a nerd like me, I have one of these uh, clothes folders and this just happens to be the exact same width as uh, is perfect for my packing cube. So I use those to fold it, but you don't need to. You can just fold it to, by yourself. Just try to make them even because that will save the most space. If one of them is this wide and the other one is that wide, you're gonna be uh, losing that space. So let me just finish this real quick. And I actually have six uh, shirts here, not five, but the sixth one is to have one to sleep in. So let me just roll this. And by now, your packing cubes should be almost zipped up on the long side, and there should be a little bit of space left over at the end. And you just shove it in like that and zip it up. So I have six in here. I can fit up to seven, so that's a week's worth. And as you can see right now, this is nice and square on all sides and that's what you want. If you have a compression uh, packing cube, what will happen is uh, you will cinch it down on the side. So instead of a nice square package that st stacks really efficiently, you just kind of have a bulge in the middle and thin sides. It doesn't save space in the grand scheme of things. So, so that is the uh, shirts uh, sorted. Now I just need some uh, underwear. So I have my boxer shorts and I have another one of these packing cubes, a slightly smaller one. And I know from experience that I need to fold this in three to fit perfectly. And then I'm starting at the elastic end, that's the thickest end, and just roll it up. And I should have opened this before I started. But again, open up on two sides, leave one of the short sides closed. Put that in, shove it in there all the way to the end, zip it up a little bit, and repeat that with the other pairs. And the last one, roll that up. And I know from experience that this one holds exactly six pairs of boxer shorts. If you're wearing like briefs or something that are smaller, 
we might be able to fit more in. But for these boxer briefs, it's six. Just work your way around, make sure nothing gets caught in the zipper. And a nice, neat little package. So that's underwear sorted. Then uh, here I have some pajama shorts since I have a little bit of space in my uh, packing cube for my t-shirts. I'll just fit that in there. Okay, that's that sorted. Uh, now I don't usually wear socks because I wear Converse. They're uh, nice and breathable and if they do get smelly, I just chuck them in the washing machine. But if you do wear socks, just get a smaller packing cube like this and the exact same thing, just stack them in here nice and tight. So that's underwear sorted, uh, top sorted. Then uh, I'm bringing one extra pair of pants because I'm already wearing one. So I'm gonna be there for five or six days. Two pairs is enough. So wear one, pack one. If this was summertime, instead of a long pair of pants, I would bring some shorts, probably two pairs. So I have some options. In this case, that's enough. So we have uh, tops, bottoms, shoes, all sorted now. Uh, that leaves this, uh, yeah, uh, some uh, toiletries. So I just have this little toiletries bag. Now I am taking the train, so I don't have to worry about like liquid rules and everything like that. So I put my liquids bag in here. Uh, I still have it in a separate bag just in case it leaks, for example. Uh, but um, I can just keep it in here. If I were to fly, uh, I would keep this separate. So everything but my, toy my uh, liquids I'd have in here. My liquid bag I have separate, like, easy to reach place. And then uh, after I get through uh, like uh, the security check-in, I can just put it back in if I wanted to. So that's that. If you want to see more about what exactly I bring, uh, or if you want to know more about the liquid rules or anything like that, leave me a comment and I can do a video about that. Um, but yeah, very simple. I just have things like shower gel, uh, uh, shampoo, conditioner. I have a travel brush, some band-aids, uh, some floss, you know some nail clippers, just things like that. So that's in there. And then the last thing uh, to pack before you move on to like the luggage you should, you want to bring, uh, you get tech and by far the biggest tech item, well, I think item in general that I'm bringing is my laptop. It's a Framework 16, uh, so it's quite big, even bigger because I have the dedicated GPU for editing. So, uh, this will take up a lot of space. This kind of dictates the size of bag I want to bring personally. And it also dictates what uh, I want to bring to charge it. Uh, this, do, uh, this does charge through USB-C. So technically I can bring any charger I want, but because I have the dedicated GPU, uh, it can draw a lot of power up to 180 Watts, I believe. Uh, and my regular charger that I bring with me for travel, this one is only 65 Watts. To be fair, uh, this laptop only uses that when it's actually like doing uh, important things like editing, uh, gaming, though I don't uh, really game on my laptop, I have my Xbox for that, but that's when it goes full bore. Most of the time that charger is enough, but because I do plan on uh, doing a bit of editing, at least two videos I want to get done while I'm there, uh, I am bringing the proper charger that came with the laptop. So this is a 160 watt charger, I believe. Now this does come with uh, a European plug because I live in the Netherlands. So to go to the UK, I have to bring a travel adapter. And again, if you want to know more about uh, travel adapters, different uh, voltages around the world, what uh, uh, electronics you should bring, which you shouldn't bring and just leave home, leave a comment and I'll, I can make a video about it. So this, I can plug this in and this is a universal one that has like the European plug, the uh, US and Australia and New Zealand and it also has the UK plug. So that can go in my little tech bag. Then uh, this is the charger. This will just go in my laptop because I want to have that easily, easily accessible because I probably want to edit something on the train or watch a movie. Uh, then like I said for charging I have this little portable charger 65 watts and I really love this one. It comes with a, a built-in uh, US plug 
and then I have some adapters that you can just stick on. So uh, if I'm in Europe, I can just stick on this European plug. And if I go to the UK, I can stick on this one. And thankfully this is a folding one because UK plugs are massive, but um, I can just put that on and I have everything sorted. So that is my charger. I also have one for Australia and New Zealand, but I don't need to bring that. Uh, so that big charger is for my laptop that only has one port so it only does my laptop and this one I can charge everything else so uh, my phone, my earbuds, my camera, everything I own charges via USB-C and this has one USB-C and one USB-A port. Uh, to go with that I have a little retractable uh, USB-C to USB-C cable and uh, you'll see most of the electronic things I have are from this brand. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just like their stuff. So I bought these with my own, uh, own money. But what they have here is this little lightning adapter in case I need it. I don't have an Apple device, but the friend that's traveling with me does. And on this side, it comes with a little USB-C to USB-A adapter. So uh, that is nice to have if uh, my if, uh, the outlet near the bed, for example, is a little further away. Uh, I can ha have a slightly longer cord to charge my phone at night. And that's also a reason why I would like to have two chargers, one for my phone near the bed, one for my laptop at the desk, which is on the other side of the room, according to the pictures I've seen of the hotel online. So that's a, re a, char a retractable cable. And then here, uh, I usually charge my phone wirelessly. Uh, so I have a wireless charger on my nightstand. This is a wireless charger and battery bank. So I'm just bringing that just in case because uh, when I'm out in London, I'll probably be using my phone a lot more to take pictures, to look at maps and things like that. So I would like to have a power bank with me. And this is nice because it also doubles as a wireless charger. And again, it's the same brand as the other thing. And uh, what is nice about this is you can open it up. So this is how you can charge your phone standing up, but it has like a little USB-C to USB-C cable inside, a USB to lightning and the same adapters, like a lightning adapter and a USB-C to USB-A and even a micro USB all stored into here. So all your cables are tucked away here when you need them. So I have that. Uh, I already talked about the charger. Uh, then I also have this little thing. And this is a, a metal case that holds my uh, uh, micro SD cards for filming because I am gonna bring my camera, which I'll get to in a moment. And again, this has a little USB-C to USB-C cable and the adapters on this side and storage for my memory cards on the, the other side. And also this has a micro SD card reader built in. I actually do one for full size SD cards as well, but the camera I'm taking is the actually the DJI Osmo Action 4 that I'm filming on right now, so I can't show it. But that uses micro SD cards. So I have a few spares in this metal case and it also doubles as like my storage solution with a, a small cord and adapters if I need them. So speaking of my camera, like I said, DJI Af uh, Osmo Action 4, that's what I shoot all my videos on, nice and compact. Uh, so I'm bringing stuff for that. I have a battery pack with uh, three batteries. One is in the camera right now. So some spare batteries. Uh, of course, I have my uh, DJI mic. So um, that I'll be using. And in case I want to be a little more discreet because right now I'm wearing this thing. Uh, if I'm out in public and I want it to be a little more discreet, not sticking out with the blinking light right in front of me. I also have a, my little uh, lav mic that I can just put on and connect to this uh, transmitter and do it that way. Uh, then for mounting, I have one, uh, this I'm, I'll mostly use this as a handle, but this is also like a little selfie stick and a little tripod. So I can just use that nice and multifunctional. And another thing for mounting uh, is this, uh, it's a backpack clip. You can put that to the strap of your uh, backpack, like your shoulder strap and this can twist. So this is where I can put my camera for like a first person view if I, or if I just want to put it down instead of holding it in my hand. I have this, I use this a lot actually. This also, uh, when I do my uh, grocery shopping by bicycle videos and you see me clip the camera to the cart, 
this is what I use, for example. So that's that. And then one more thing, uh, I have a HDMI cable that I might use, might not, because uh, I'll, I'll be do watching some movies while I'm there on my laptop. And uh, if the TV is relatively close to the, the desk where I can put my uh, laptop down, I can hook up the HDMI to my laptop and the TV and watch on the big screen. Sometimes they have the TV in a really weird place, far away from anything, just in the middle of a wall somewhere, that, then it doesn't really work. But otherwise, that is worth a try. It's worth uh, bringing it with you. So uh, yeah, this just uh, goes in easily. So this can go in flat with charger on top, this little retractable cable, and my adapters. This can go in there. My little lav mic can go in that pocket. And then, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, there's one of these fuzzies here and one here. I can put that in this little pocket. Keep that out of the way. My microphone and my batteries can go in. Uh, I have my little remote here for the camera that I'll pack in a moment after I finish recording. This can go in here. My camera, there's a little spot for that. Put this in here and this zips up. And here I have all my tech also in one pouch. So now it's time to decide which bag I'm gonna be bringing and how I'm gonna pack it. For bags, I have a few options. My go-to bag is this one. And this is absolutely perfect for traveling, especially in Europe. I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, it's a little bit big for what I need because this will comfortably fit two weeks, maybe even three in a push. And I'm only going five or six days, but it's so convenient. So first of all, what makes this a good bag is the wheels. And these are the wheels you really want. Uh, a lot of bags come with spinner wheels. I don't like them for two reasons. Uh, one, when you're going carry on only, uh, the whole size of the bag counts, including the wheels. So all the uh, space between the wheels is wasted space. It counts towards your uh, size, but it doesn't offer any useful space. And these wheels go almost all the way to the bottom. So you have more usable space. Uh, the second is uh, spinner wheels are great on a smooth floor, like the smooth tiled floor in the airport. But if you have to go over cobblestones or pavement or even gravel when you have to go through a park to get to your hotel or something, spinner wheels are horrible. These are the inline skate style wheels. So they're slightly rubbery, nice and big. These roll over everything. Um, if you uh, pull this behind you compared to a, a, a spinner suitcase, it feels like you're pulling half the weight. So that is a really nice feature. Uh, I highly recommend not getting spinner wheels. So no four wheels, get the two wheels ones and uh, look for the rubbery ones. And then what I like about this bag as well is this is a rolling suitcase. It has like the wheels and little telescoping handle. Um, I like the, I prefer the, the two uh, bars like uh, like this one that I'll show you in a moment because you can put something over the handle of the bars like this but to be honest I don't really have a problem fitting everything in this bag so I don't I don't really miss that feature but what I really like is this is a suitcase now but it also has backpack straps that are tucked away and it even has like this little velcro thing at the end you can stick that underneath and now it covers the wheels. So if you have muddy wheels and you put this on your back like a backpack, you're not gonna get uh, the mud all over you. So that is great. Uh, I've seen that on a few bags. And that's a feature I'm definitely looking for if I ever were to replace this one. But what makes this bag the perfect bag is this. I can unzip this zip. I'm not gonna do it all the way because uh, I'm standing on this side, the zipper is on that end, so I'm gonna have to put it back in a moment. <laughs> That's a struggle, so I'm just gonna fold it open like this. See the, these backpack straps? This whole thing zips off, and then you have your uh, personal item here and your carry-on here. It separates, so it conforms to the standards. But then when you get off the plane, or you're getting to the plane, zip these together, and <laughs> you only have one bag to worry about. Also, you can choose if you want to pull something behind you by the handle, roll it, or 
Uh, for instance, when I went to Paris, we had to go up and down the stairs a lot to get in and out of the metro. You just want to throw it on as a backpack. You can do that. You don't have to have and the backpack and the tr uh, like a rolling suitcase behind you or a backpack on your back and a bag in your hand. So yeah, having everything consolidated into one bag for while you're moving, but it separates in two to uh, qualify for uh, carry on and personal item. That's by far my favorite feature and I haven't really seen that in a lot of other bags. So uh, this is my go-to, like I said, uh, I'm not sure if I wanna bring it for this trip. I might, but it's a little bit too big. So uh, we'll see what other options I have. So one that I'm definitely not bringing is this set. I absolutely love it. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just big. Um, it does have uh, the double handlebars, which I like because you can put this on top. I like that this uh, laptop bag uh, fits up the personal space uh, allowance much better than the other a smaller backpack does on the other bag. Uh, this does have the rubbery two wheels that I like. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really big. Uh, I can easily fit three weeks in this uh, at a, at a push, I can probably fit four weeks worth of stuff in this set. Uh, that's actually a, a fun challenge, I think. Uh, if you want to see me try and uh, fit four weeks worth of stuff in this uh, set, let me know and I'll uh, give it a try. Um, but yeah, uh, I like the color, but just too big for what I need. And then from my biggest option to my smallest option, I have this backpack. This is a Columbia Beacon. I believe it's 24 liters. Um, I know this will fit a week's worth of stuff because I've done it. Uh, last year when I went to London, uh, I took this backpack because I was flying on EasyJet and I could only bring a personal item, not a carry-on. Otherwise I'd have to pay and that was more than the flight was. So I fit everything in this bag. Um, so I know I can do it. The only thing is since then, I upgraded to my uh, larger laptop and that is a really tight squeeze to get in, it barely fits. And uh, to get it to fit, uh, I have to put that in first before I put anything else in. So I would not be able to uh, use my laptop while I'm traveling. Otherwise I would have to unpack everything, put my laptop in, repack it. Just too much of a hassle. So uh, I'm not gonna be bringing this as my main luggage on this flight. I might still bring it as like a, a day pack because uh, I do have, uh, if I bring the other bag, uh, that the little backpack comes off. I can use that as a day pack, but it doesn't have any like uh, water bottle holders or anything on the side. Uh, plus I'm traveling with, uh, with someone. And if you've ever traveled with a woman before, uh, for some reason you always end up with like their extra layer uh, in your bag when it warms up, you carry their water bottle, their souvenirs, that nice uh, dress that they found somewhere. So. A bigger backpack is nice to have for that, just to carry everything around. Uh, and for me, I'll have my camera in here, my water bottle, which uh, I didn't show earlier, but I do have my water bottle that I'll be bringing. So uh, this might come as a day pack, but I'm definitely not going to uh, use this as my, my uh, luggage if I don't have to. And then the last option, uh, this is uh, also by Ikea, just like um, this one and the orange one, all from Ikea from the same uh, uh, Upteka uh, range. Uh, discontinued like over a decade ago, so you can't get these anymore, unfortunately. But uh, this is essentially the smaller version of that bag, except this is only a backpack. It doesn't have the wheels or the handle, but it does have the same system where you can take this backpack off and uh, use that separately. So uh, you have one carry-on and one personal item. So uh, this actually does look like a good contender for what I'm going to bring. Uh, the one thing I, is I probably have to put my back top in the, the main part, not in this part, because uh, a 16 inch laptop will fit, but because I have that uh, extra bit that I showed you because of the dedicated GPU, it's a little tight right here in the corners. So I'll probably put my backpack in, uh, my uh, laptop in there, my tech stuff in here, and just my clothes on top. So uh, let's open this up and uh, let's get packing.
So this actually has a laptop sleeve both in this part and in that part. So I'm just gonna slide this in here. And as you can see, even in this uh, bigger compartment, it still only just fits. This is like a really big laptop, like a big 16 inch. So that kind of dictates uh, what luggage I can bring. Then we have uh, all my shirts that can just fit in like that. My underwear. Well, let me put that over here. And my toiletries bag will fit right next to it. Then my pants that will fit right at the top here. And let me just zip this up. Okay, that's zipped up. Uh, I do have uh, some of these little TSA locks that I can put on here if I want to. I'm not going to right now because I'll probably need to repack stuff. But so that's the main compartment packed. Then in the front pocket, I'm just gonna put my whole tech back in. Cause uh, this does have like little dividers and everything in them. But uh, I prefer, especially if I'm gonna be using this as a day pack, when I get to the hotel, I can just take this out and then uh, I can just use this as my day pack and I don't have to take everything out separately. So zip that up and then in this compartment with the laptop compartment since I have my laptop in the back I'll just uh, put my laptop charger in here so let me uh, coil these ropes uh, the cords up real quick close that and then I still have a little bit of space in case I need to uh, put my hoodie in to put that in. Uh, if I, uh, I'll decide the morning I'm gonna leave based on the weather if I'm gonna wear it or pack it, but there's plenty of space. And then I can take my water bottle, fit that on the side. So yeah, that's uh, what I'm bringing for uh, oh, about a week of travel. Um, and I know I have a lot of bags, but they all have their purpose. Like this one is for uh, about two, uh, a week of travel. This one's for a few days. Uh, I have my main one that I use for like up to two weeks. And uh, if I go on longer trips abroad, I have my big suitcase to take with me. So that will be uh, three or four weeks. Uh, if you like this kind of video where you pack with me and get ready, uh, I've done a few of these uh, whenever I take a trip. And if you want to see more videos where I go more in depth about uh, uh, what kind of toiletry you should bring, what kind of uh, rules for liquids and things like that that you need to uh, keep in mind when you're traveling for the first time, uh, what kind of uh, electronics you should or shouldn't bring, uh, different voltages around the world, uh, leave a comment if you want to see videos like that. And um, yeah, I'm going to vlog my trip. That should be coming out in about a week's time. And uh, yeah, I'll just see you next time. Bye for now.